guys, let's move on to the next topic. And we got to talk about this. This leads us in perfectly to what we're going to talk about next, because we got to really address the elephant in the room here. And I want the chat to jump in on this one too and talk about this. Is Hot Toys quality dipping lately? Because if we look at the last maybe 20 releases, you're seeing a lot of great figures, but as far as head sculpts go, I think that's where we're maybe seeing a little bit of a dip. And I think this is probably just due to them being spread too thin. I think we've talked about this quite a bit. I don't know, Ben, if you were on for this one, but the Hot Toys being spread too thin thing. The, mm -hmm. the advent of streaming has changed pretty much everything for everyone in the entertainment industry. But that has a trickle down effect to the collectible companies. And now Hot Toys is trying to make everything Disney. And that's a lot of shit. Disney's producing a lot of Star Wars stuff, a lot of Marvel stuff. And then Hot Toys every once in a while will decide to do a DC figure or something else totally offshoot. Then it's hard. They're trying to make a lot of stuff. They, there's not even a Miss Marvel figure out there yet. There's not a Hawkeye figure out there yet, right? It took a while to get a lot. Loki and Sylvie popped up forever after the show ended. So they are behind, no doubt about it. We got two, I know Eternals wasn't very popular. We got two Eternals, right? I mean, it's, it's they're not making, their Hot Toys is trying hard to keep up. So I think there could be, it could be argued that there is a dip in quality because of how many figures they're trying to pump out before the Chinese New Year. And, you know, just the amount of volume of figures that they have to get out of their backlog. So, Ben, I want to ask you, do you feel like we're seeing a dip in Hot Toys quality lately? Because, I mean, as, at least as far as head sculpts go, at least we're seeing a little bit of a decline personally. But what do you think? It's weird because so if I look at figures from even when I started collecting back in 2009, there's been an amazing improvement in, in figures and in sculpts in applications of paint and accessories, clothing styles and fits like all of it have we seen a dip lately though is the question and i would say yes but only because i think like you kind of hit the nail on the head it's it's a quantity versus quality you know situation that they're in right for us like as collectors we already have to be relatively patient for these things, right? They don't show an item and we get to get it the next month. Like there are some McFarlane figures, for example, where they show a McFarlane figure and you go to Walmart and they're freaking already on the shelf. And it's like, how'd they even turn that around so fast? Whereas for, for figures like this, Six Scale and Hot Toys, you know, we already have that year, 14 month wait time anyways. And so we start to get a little impatient. And because there's been so much content coming out lately, I think that they, they must have this fear that like by the time they actually get some of these out, they're already on to season two or season three. Like we've talked about this with Mando, like I'm not getting the Chrome Mando because I'm now just waiting for season three of Mando. I'm curious to see what upgrades the costume is going to have and all, and all of the things. So they start to get this backlog, but if they don't clear it out, they're going to have sitting stock or people canceling their, their pre-orders for that next option. Doctor Strange is another good example of that. We just got the Infinity War Doctor Strange, but the, the Multiverse of Madness Doctor Strange is coming out. Are they both really good quality figures? I'd say yes, for the most part. Do I think Multiverse is better? I do. I think the head sculpt's better, so I'm going to wait for that one, which means that that Strange that I might have bought from Infinity War, if, if, if you want to call it Apple's Dabbles, my copy is now sitting on the shelf waiting for somebody else to buy it, because I'm not going to. And so I think they have to either change their direction and offer us a little bit less for the sake of higher quality and just say to people sorry we're going to do main characters only you're not going to see the sidelines you're not going to see those big team builds anymore not that we get all the teams all the time anyways but can't do that anymore we're just spread too thin or they need to figure out a way to increase their ability to to produce um, because otherwise as i said it's leaving holes for the competition to then step in and do it better right i mean if if yeah. in art if you know we haven't seen anything in hand from in art yet but if in art starts producing some really banger stuff in hand and they announce a doc brown down the line well shit like i just spent 500 bucks to get this guy in my collection and now i'm already looking at the next one like i feel like i'm cheating on it in my collection right so i do think i think there has been a bit of a dip but i don't think it's because they want the quality to go down i just think that they're they're handcuffed they're handcuffed to the amount that they have to produce and it's becoming quantity over quality yeah and i i think you're right i think i don't know if there's some sort of contractual obligation with disney where they have to produce a yeah. certain number of characters from each marvel or, or you know star wars property and they just have to do it whether they like it or not but i think like you said ben i, I asked that question to one of my panels recently i was like 
do you guys want higher quality or higher number of characters? Because I think we do sometimes tend to want both. And I saw a comment earlier, I think it was um, just a second ago of, uh, what's it called? Cruising, uh, cruising through space, right? That's a fair comment. He was saying, you guys ask for new releases constantly. That's very fair criticism. Mm -hmm. Because at the time, you know, with all these delays, not things releasing for a while, we always like, where's this figure? Where's that figure? Where's this figure? Mm -hmm. And now we got all these releases and I hear, you know, some saying like, oh, it's too much. They're dropping too much at once. I get that but we can't necessarily have it both ways. And we can't say we want things faster and then have it less quality. You don't want things delayed forever. I mean, Loki got delayed a really long time. I mean, that started to get pretty unreasonable after a while. I mean, it was like three yeah. years almost. So it starts to get a while, uh, kind of ridiculous. But um, I, I don't know. If we're looking at non-head sculpts, yes. I don't think they're really dipping. I think everything else is looking pretty great. Like your opinion on the Loki aside, the tailoring is phenomenal. And so is the accessories 100%. and everything else. Same Axe Wolves looks great. You know, Bo-Katan, I mean, the head sculpt is a little debatable depending upon who you ask, but the helmet and the rest of the figure are fantastic. Single joints, I get that, but, you know, still really great. The white vision looks fantastic. This Doctor Strange is a reuse head sculpt, but it, it's, you know, it was good before, it's good now. It's just not as good as Multiverse of Madness, like you said. But overall, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're dipping a little bit. The head sculpts are definitely going down in quality a bit. But Kiko, what do you think, man? Are you noticing a dip or, you know, or anything at all significant? So we look for things to look for things sometimes. And Ben has been waxing eloquently tonight, by the way. And That's I just want to say congratulations on that. But you, I think, were starting to do exactly what I was getting ready to do, is that I ran to look at the list of things yeah. of what's been released. And so we're going to talk simply about releases because that's the ones that matter because prototype doesn't matter because everyone will be like, oh, fuck, it's not the same as the prototype. You know, that's, that's how it goes. So yeah. if you're just looking at the past releases, you got the, and we're talking just head sculpts because Spider-Man doesn't really count because I think those are good releases regardless. You look at the brand new Chris O'Donnell, okay. That, that's okay. The Iron Strange, that was a reused head sculpt, which I think is pretty darn good but I still give that a plus. The Doc Brown, meh. I'll, I'll give you that one, but it's still Doc Brown. The White Vision, really good. I ended up getting that you know, today and took a picture, mm -hmm. which I think personally is better than the, some of the blogger photos. I was really proud of that photo. Um, so with that being said, Vision's looking really good. The Axe Wolves doesn't have a head sculpt. Fantastic. You just showed the um, Doctor Strange, same one, re-release. The Loki, meh, kind of interesting. Johnny Silverhand, meh, but the Black Widow, I thought both Black Widows looked fantastic. The Bogotan looks fantastic. The Tony Stark mech suit looks fantastic. The, um, let me see, what's the next one here? I'm not going to belabor the point here. Uh, uh, Echo. Echo was the one after that. Echo is fantastic. That's a great figure and in my top five uh, figures of the year. So is the quality dipping? I think it depends on what you are saying is dipping. Are the head sculpts getting worse? I think subjectively you can say no I, I or objectively if depending on which how you want to say it, I, I think you could say no i think they are continuing to improve could they continue to improve like yeah because i think if you ever saw the going back to doc brown the back to the future 2 doc brown final vastly different from the back to the future 2 prototype i mean it was night and day and you know that was an increase because they continue to improve their technology and got better i think this white widow fantastic people didn't like it i did really really good so i think you need to kind of see what it is that you're complaining about and what you're upset about and at the end of the day you're paying like 300 bucks for a really premium figure i think this is a premium figure maybe i'm just lost in the shuffle of it all and i'm just being a homer and all that type of stuff and just a, a shill i don't think so because i choose on which figures to get and not to get and you know there's some i've completely passed on but there's not a chance in hell I'd miss out on the White Widow thing. I think that's a fantastic one. And I was super skeptical about the uh, solo version of Black Widow. And I thought that's the best Scarlett Johansson we've gotten to date. So I'm very, very okay with that. And man, I, we find reasons to complain. I think that that's a lot of it is that it's either you get a figure and you're excited or you don't have one and you complain. And so that that's the way it is. No one ever complains about the ones they have. And so... I don't know. I, I'm happy with it. I'm. I think they're doing okay. Can they improve? Sure. Do they need to slow down? Maybe. Um, but I think someone said it in the comments is that we asked for releases. Here they are. So let's enjoy these things while we have them. Yeah. I complained a little bit about my Marty. I'm not gonna lie. When I got it in <laughs> hand, it was like ah, it's like a six and a half out of ten. I, I'm happy to have a Marty McFly, but it's better than the other one. But... It is better. So uh, the only other thing that I'll add to this, which I think is, is part of the issue that I'm having, is not even that I'm concerned about the quality. I think 
we've been used to for the last two years of having figures go through a long pre-order then get on the website and then sit for a little bit and you can have some time to kind of look at it and decide and hum and haw and watch reviews and get, see some people get it in hand and their own blogger photos and all these things lately with a lot of these figures going you know limited or blue line before we're even seeing it hit like in stock is stressing me out because if there is a bit of a decline in any way shape or form but you've pulled the trigger ahead of time just to make sure you kind of allocated yourself one and then it comes out and then you're disappointed that kicks even harder because that's how i feel a little bit as i said about doc brown i saw that it was going to go waitlist i was like well i can't not have doc in my collection so i ordered him i paid it in full and now we're seeing the the in-hand shots and it's like i feel just a little disappointed in combination with that that wave of negativity that kind of has come along with it um i don't mean it to sound like negativity whenever i criticize a figure a lot of the time i'm trying to talk myself out of buying things that i don't necessarily need um and so if i'm like if i don't absolutely love it i'm gonna try to not to tend to not buy it right. um for the most part but I think, as I said right now, as collectors, it, it is a bit of a tricky time because if there's going to be a few dips here and there, uh, I really kind of hope that they can still maintain a little bit of that. We see it in stock before it goes out of stock way that we've been used to in the past. Otherwise, it doesn't feel uh, or it feels more like a gamble, I should say. It feels a lot more like a gamble. Yeah. And that makes sense. I mean, but, you know. Because, yeah, we're looking at some of these, you know, releases here. And I think that's an interesting point, Ben. Like, you're going to be, you're going to have to make more split to second decisions, not really split second, but you're going to have to make decisions more quickly, in other words, right? Because mm -hmm. we've been used to just sitting and sitting and waiting for figures to be discounted and just let it, you know, drop to 20, 30% off, whatever. That's going to change. That's going to change soon because Sideshow is not going to be ordering as many of these. Yeah. Maybe Kiko, like maybe the Hong Kong resellers will still do that. Maybe Toys Wonderland will still be selling figures for a hundred dollars or something. Who knows? But I, I would suspect not. I think things are going to change. I, I think things are the market is going to adapt. When I interviewed Alter Ego Comics, he said, "Yes, we're sitting on a bunch of stock, but that is going to change." He said, mm -hmm. "The market is going to correct itself, and it's already starting to do it." So I think that's what's going to happen. Sideshow has already started ordering less. They know we're in an economic recession. They know that people are not ordering as much. There's a you know over a supply and less demand. So yeah, I mean. Hot Toys has a lot of figures to pump out nonetheless, though. So they're trying to get through their backlog as quickly as possible. But um, yeah, man, I, I don't know. It's hard to say because like, you guys make really good points. When you start to see a lot of these figures with their helmets on, yeah, it's amazing. I think the main reason that most people buy Hot Toys is for the realism factor. However, you know, when you go to get the head sculpt, it is really important. You want it to be good. A lot of people think this Bo-Katan is great in hand. When I'm looking at the photos, I think it's very okay. I think it's like a seven and a half or something, but I've heard it's a lot better in hand. And I, hey, I feel that way with Loki, right? So I get it. I understand how that can be. So, but I mean, we're just looking at the, I don't know. It, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. I know, like you say, Kiko, we should be fair and reasonable. I'm interested. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm I'm curious like that Black Widow why why you like that because for me it's it it's pretty much what the prototype advertised but it's like I look at that Black Widow head sculpt and I'm like it just doesn't do it for me like something's just really? off about it yeah maybe it's just me man but when I look at it Kiko I'm just like you know what that this Bo-Katan looks better to me than Black Widow does Black really? Widow is, okay. yeah like I look at the Black Widow Kiko and I'm like something with the head it just looks too big and then like the that's the same head skull basically from endgame it looks like pretty much the same if not slightly uh, we've different. talked about that and <laughs> yeah, I, slight, I said it's different not. hair piece different hair piece i said it's it, not really it looks the same to me I, and i don't think i've owned either one but um after shooting photos of it i can confirm that it is not Hmm. Well, you are the expert, Kiko. With photo, no, not the expert, not the expert. You're, but... well, a little bit expert. you're being humble. That's what it is. Humble butters. Humble butters. <laughs> but, oh, uh, thanks, yeah, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's, you know, I think I'm interested to hear everyone's thoughts about, you know, whether Hot Toys is taking a dip because I think you're going to get a vastly different answer depending upon who you ask. I guess we need more of a sample size. We have about 20 figures in the last, you know, two or three months. So, pretty significant but um getting a lot of reused parts head sculpts and then some new ones but i think maybe riley pointed this out to me guys and we can address this real quick before we move on 
uh, I think we're getting to this expectation that we're expecting the proto to improve uh, to the final, and it's usually the opposite. Like we're usually getting five to ten percent or more decline, but we're expecting things to get better. Unless there's an outrage, I wouldn't expect that to happen. Like with Tony Stank or something. Yeah, or you got to think of how rare that was. Doc with, Ock, for example, Kiko, yeah. that's going to get better because people raise enough shit about it to say, okay, Hot Toys is like, okay, we're looking into it, right? Remember Kiko with yeah. Endgame, Captain America, when they put yeah. the Age of Ultron head sculpt on it, and mm-hmm. everyone was like, oh no, 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 and then they changed it. So unless the hot toys like addresses it, then you're probably like when Wu was the outlier, probably because maybe yeah. there was people raising stink about it overseas or something. And we just didn't that's see what it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, that's probably why they changed it. Then unless you see hot toys pretty much openly address it, expect a decline from production. That's what I would say. What, do you guys agree with that? I don't Five want to, to ever expect it. I don't ever want to expect a decline, but I do think it's smart to not necessarily expect an increase right. either uh i was hoping for an increase with doc brown and i felt a little disappointed when it wasn't the case sure uh when it was the same um i think if you like the solicitation photos um go with that as your gut check and if it comes out better then that's great i i don't want to expect less because then i also think that that's like you're kind of you're teaching hot toys how to treat you if that makes <laughs> sense i don't i i don't sure. i don't want that to be the case or the the message so much for, wisdom for tonight from you <laughs> well so ben and i get what you're saying i think it's just a realistic thing like because hot toys is pretty much yeah. going to do this whether we want them to or not so like i understand you know, yeah yeah once it but gets I think to it's production just a matter of like five to ten percent is reasonable when you start going beyond that sure. yeah it starts to become problematic but i get what you're saying you don't want to give them a pass to do that so yeah i don't want it to just be the expectation and, and i know like maybe this is also a bit of a hot take like exo6 i'm a big star trek fan while i don't think i I don't think every XO6 head sculpt that they've done so far have been bangers. There have been some ones that are, are really soft. But I honestly think that what they show as their prototype is actually what ends up being in the box. Like, I'm not sure how they're able to keep it that consistent. Now, again, some of them are like six and a half, and some of them are like nine. So there's a big swing, but at least you see the solicitation and they give you what is solicited uh, at the end of the day. I don't want Hot Toys to, as I said, have that have that pass by yeah. any stretch. That's reasonable. All right, guys, we got to wrap that topic. We got to move on a little bit. 